It's now time for the nightly news with your hosts, Raven and Aaron. Welcome to the Nightly News. I'm Raven. And I'm Erin. On today's program, we will be sharing with you some of the things that have been going on at PRHS, including boy soccer, band, iPads, school rules, and many other interesting things. First, we're going to hear from Raven about the boys' soccer team. Recently, we interviewed a few experts on the boys' soccer team and asked them a few questions. I know that our boys uh, work hard and they fight hard out on the field. I, maybe fight's not the right word, but they play hard. And... Um, I really wish that there was something that I could do to help them become more successful in the win-loss column, so that's that's a struggle. The best thing about soccer at Poland Regional High School is watching a group of people come together who may not have otherwise hung out or been a part of each other's lives uh, to seek a common goal and strive toward working together to achieve it. Um, I love being able to come out to the games, to cheer the team on. It definitely helps you build a sense of community and feel more connected to the school. Coaches, parents, ADs, and students find soccer a very important part of PRHS. I'm Erin Holbrook reporting for WPRH. Thanks for that report, Raven. It is very helpful information to know as we are supportive of our boys' soccer team. Did you know that our PRHS boys' varsity soccer team made it to the playoffs this 2013 season? Also doing really well this year is our band. Now let's check in on band with Cheyenne, Raylan, and Morgan. The music curriculum at Fall Regional High School is well taught. Um, I think that music um, and band in particular, it's a class that gets you involved in what you're doing. It influences us because it's, um, you make music and you can, like, I don't know, it's just fun being in band. and. Uh, it, it's like a family almost because it's just a group of people that get together and we just jam every day. Everybody has different ways of expressing themselves. Some people have a way of expressing themselves by their favorite piece of music. It's like the one we call Motown Review. It's um, a bunch of Motown songs, so that one's a lot of fun. I think we have a lot of fun. Well, we're doing one called Home Sweet Home and everybody seems to like that. <laughs> oh, we did like the Lord of the Rings theme. The parents of the concert are very proud of the work their children have done. Proud of their kids and they have a lot of fun because it's they get to see what the kids are doing in school and it actually shows what we're learning and how we're learning. And so when they see us up there playing music, they like, go, oh, wow, so they actually are learning something. Congratulate us and say that we did well. Music is an inspiring subject that teaches students many things. It takes a lot of practice and time and I think that a lot of kids don't have that time or the motivation to practice for it. And so I think if it was mandatory, then it might reduce the quality. You can't get all the credits that you might want for like a college to see on your resume. So if somebody doesn't want to do band and they want to do a different class to get that on their resume, then they should. It has been at PRHS for a few years now. It has come a very far since then. I know that um, it used to be, obviously when it first started it was probably pretty small and I know that in the past couple of years we've been getting more um, elementary school and middle school kids because Mr. Williams goes over to mine it now and so I know that there's a better feeding program into it. I so. wish it was smaller and that they like separated the course into two groups because it's so big. Because when I started we had it in fourth grade, actually we had music all throughout our elementary years and since then they don't have music anymore in the elementary school. They don't have fourth grade band anymore. You have to start in fifth grade. I mean that the music curriculum at Fallen Regional High School is well taught. I'm Cheyenne, reporting for WPRH. Thanks, girls. One good thing that our band has is their instruments. Did you know that there's a gut app on the iPad that you can play piano on? Now let's check in on iPads with Taylor and Allison. This year at Fallen Regional High School, the students got iPads and laptops. And we talked to the students and teachers to see what they thought about the change. If it's on this, I can take this anywhere. I checked out some calculator stuff, uh, and man, I don't, calculator stuff is pretty good. Um, cons, uh, I just like typing on it. I guess that's my one big gripe. Like this thing, I can do stuff on that I need to do stuff on. Well, some of the teachers prefer their laptops over the iPads. The students at Florida Regional High School only got iPads. Opinion, they're a lot more recreational than that laptops were. I mean, it's 
pretty easy to justify using a laptop for academic uses, like writing essays and researching stuff. But using the iPad, it's a lot more, it's like a giant eye. Like, it will make it harder to focus, especially in class. I mean, you can take it out and I mean, the teachers can't really tell what you're doing on it, you know? I would say then, adapting poorly to the iPad, um, I tried writing an essay and for AP Lit, and it was just very difficult because my fingers would clack against it. I know that you can have a plug-in keyboard, but I mean, that's not applicable to everything. While some students are having a hard time adapting to the iPads, there was a reason why the school went with the iPads over the laptops. So the cost had a big deal uh, because they were a lot cheaper than the MacBook Airs, um, so we chose the iPads. So if the teachers, you know, will learn and get a bunch of the apps that they can use in their class, um, our hope is that they'll be able to use them in each class. And this is Allison Hodgkin reporting from WPRH. Thank you, Taylor and Allison. When using the iPads, you have to make sure you follow the rules of the school. Now let's check in on some of those with Amber M. and Amber D. School rules is a very important part of the learning process at Poland Regional High School. It's a good rule because people don't use their lockers enough. You have a culture around lockers. You can only use your cell phone in between classes and at lunch. Their mind off whatever, like Sean said, it takes their mind off whatever they're doing at the moment. And then it makes it a little bit harder to get back into it afterwards. But I think that teachers shouldn't be allowed to use their phones if we can't use ours. I think cell phones should be completely off in classrooms. School rules is an important part of the learning process at Poland Regional High School. This is Amber reporting from WPRH. There's a lot of transitioning and becoming familiar with the rules when coming from middle school to high school. Thanks, Amber M. and Amber D. Thanks for joining us on Nightly News tonight. I'm Raven. And I'm Erin. We hope that you have enjoyed seeing a little bit about what we do here at PRHS. Thank you for watching your Nightly News.